Hi, my name is Chad Ragsdale, and I'm excited to tell you today about my new book, Holy Grit. The most common question that I've been asked is, why did you write it? Well, I wrote Holy Grit to address a particular need, a need that I've uh, witnessed in a lot of my students, a, a need that I've observed in a lot of my friends and my family, a need that I've seen in myself. It's the need for spiritual perseverance, for endurance. We know that following Jesus in this world is oftentimes very challenging. We go through seasons of disappointment. We go through seasons of discouragement or disillusion, disillusionment. And it's oftentimes in those seasons that we're tempted with walking away from Jesus altogether, abandoning our faith, abandoning our hope. What we need is we need to cultivate the type of faith that lasts. We need to cultivate spiritual perseverance in our life that can weather those difficult seasons. Now, there's a lot of different places that we could go for wisdom and for advice on how to cultivate that type of faith. But really, the best place to go is to go to Scripture itself. And so what I've done in Holy Grid is I've gone specifically to the book of Hebrews. Now, Hebrews is one of those books. It's not we oftentimes overlook the book of Hebrews. We, we, uh, we bypass it. We don't, it's not one of those books that we oftentimes study in depth. But the book of Hebrews was written with this pastoral need in mind. The whole reason why the book of Hebrews was written was to encourage everyone that reads it to develop this type of spiritual perseverance, to develop a faith that lasts. So what I've done in this book is it's not a commentary. But I've walked chapter by chapter through the book of Hebrews to try to identify those pieces of wisdom. What does the book of Hebrews tell us about developing this holy grit, this faith that lasts? And I, I, I wrote this book really for anybody in any season as they're following Jesus. I think you can read this book as a new believer, as a new follower of Jesus, and be blessed by and challenged by the things that you read in its pages. I also think that you can be a seasoned believer, somebody that's been following Jesus for years, decades even. And I think you could read this book and still be challenged and motivated and inspired by the things that the book of Hebrews tells us about having this sort of faith that lasts. I think this, this book can be a great help to parents, to grandparents, to anybody that looks at the next generation following after us and wants to encourage them to develop a faith that is resilient, a faith that endures. I think that this book will be a great benefit and blessing to them as well. You know, another question that I get is, you know, when people see the title, Holy Grid, one of the one of the immediate questions that sometimes comes to mind is, well, what do you mean by that? What exactly is Holy Grit? And I've defined it uh, throughout the book, but early on in the book, here's, here's what I say about Holy Grit. Holy Grit is more than simply holding on to your faith as if it were merely an accessory decorating our life. Some people hold on to faith in that way. It's a bit of sentimental nostalgia, like a favorite old hat. It's no longer in style, but you keep it around anyway, dusting it off from time to time because of how it makes you feel and the memories that it brings to mind. But it is nevertheless a novelty, an accessory. Holy Grit, on the other hand, is about a life carried along by a resilient, living faith, a faith that is both in Christ and moving toward Christ. I really hope that you'll pick up Holy Grit and read it. But more than that, I hope that you'll be blessed and encouraged from what we learn from the book of Hebrews about developing this type of faith that lasts.